right, here we go. Here we go. Man. All right, so. I guess I'm on. I thought I would be anyway. I'm not live yet. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I am live. Alright, so I am live. Alright, so I am live. Alright, so right, so right, click off of this. Let me click off of this. Boom. Boom. Alright, so. Alright, what I want to do. So today, 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 what I want to do is pretty much. I want to make a new shirt, you know what I mean? I've been on Philip Pline's site, you know? And as y'all can see, man, they keep fresh, fresh, fresh apparel on there. That's all I can say. Look at this, look at this, uh, this bulldog. Or this pit bull. Look at this, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Look at them stones in there. <coughs> Philip Pline is nice with it when it comes to the stones. Let's see if we can find something with a skull in it. <coughs> Ooh, need some water. Tickly throat. Let's see. I really looking for. All right, let's see here. I like Pine. Definitely like Philip Pine. But let's let's Google. Uh, skull, rhinestone, T. Now it's a lot of them on here, as you can see. The first few cup, a few. You got this one on Wish. Fourteen dollars and ninety-eight cent. Yeah, another one. This mastermind Japan. You know what I mean? Sixteen seventy-three. DH Gate. Let's let's click in here. Let's see what this shirt really look like. Uh, oh, boo! That damn show don't look like no Philip Pline shirt. You know what I mean? Let's go back to Philip Pline. Let's go to the men, t-shirts and polos. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute, I, I know I'm gonna come across some skulls. We already seen those pit bulls. Look at that one. That's just tie dye. They want three hundred and ninety-nine dollars for that. Do that even got a stone in it? Let's see here. Mm. No, that definitely doesn't look like rhinestones. I'm sorry, y'all. I need to get up and get some water. Hold on. Give me a second. Got my Hugh Hefner robe on. Gotta give me something to drink. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the pause. Sorry for the pause. I didn't know I would be coughing like that on camera, though. You know what I'm saying? All right. Got my water. My wah wah. Ooh. All right. So, all right, that one is live. I like that with the skull. Let's keep, all right, now here we go, here we go. 
$616. Look at this shirt right here, y'all. Tell me this shirt isn't a beauty. Look at it. Huh. Got the pliant nice with the half a half a skull head, you know what I'm saying? Then on the back you got, you know, New York, Los Angeles, Milan, Moscow, Hong Kong. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? They got it going across the back, you know, slanted it, you know, arched across the back. Now, what do they say about this shirt? Do they say anything spectacular? Nope, they just show the shirt. That's all they do. $616. All right, let's make let's make one. So here we are in Corel Draw X7. I also have the TRW Rhinestone Wizard version 2.14. Man, I need to upgrade, but hey, I'm liking it just like this. All right, so let's see here. Let's do a new. There we go. Now y'all can see my screen. Alright, so we're gonna do a new, create a new document. We're gonna just call this uh YouTube skull head. <coughs> it okay. Boom. And I can tell y'all right now, you know, I've already um, I've already created plenty of skull heads so let's see here what I want to do next alright what I want to do next here is let's, let's look for some skull heads you know what I'm saying Let's definitely look for some skull heads. Skull. And let's just put in vector. Skull vector, you know. Boom. Now we get tons of skull heads. I usually click on images. And then I do, uh, I think it's tools. And let's go by size large boom so now we get images with large resolutions now look at all of these skull heads we got here so many so many skull heads and it's totally up to you you know pick whichever one you want you know that skull right here the outlaw skull that's slick. You can put stones in there. <coughs> I like that, but I ain't no gangbanger, so I can't. I ain't not really about to use that one. You know what I mean? Typical skull right here. I like that one. That's slick with the, you know, crossbones. Cheesy little kitty little skull, you know, with the crossbones. I like this one, though. Oh, that one is slick. We work with that one. So I right click, I save the image. Uh, we gonna save it as go YouTube so I can find it in my excellent dreams folder. Now, let's go here. Let's go to my Excellent Dreams folder. We're going to type in Skull. If I can type right. Come on. 
space Y O U. It should pop right up. There it is. Dug my skull. Let's drag it in to Corel Draw. Alright. Now we have. Now we have our skull. Uh oh. I'm new at this, y'all. I'm new at this, so bear with me. Alright, so now we have our skull and Corel Draw. Boom. But right now, it's a, a roster JPEG image, as you can see, the pixelization in the photo. So let's right click on that. Let's do an outline trace. My computer moving cricket slow right now. All right, let's do clip art. I usually, you know, try to get some brush strokes in while I'm working. You know, since my computer. Kind of slow at times. All right. Looks like it's almost done. Doing the power trace. All right. I'm gonna hit OK. And that's what we're pretty much left with. Alright, we're gonna right click on that and ungroup all objects. And now we gotta start cleaning this up nice and fast. Let me make it bigger. Alright, I know there's a white box right there. And I, I like that box, I might keep that box. No, we're not going to keep that box. Let's get rid of that box for now. And you see all of these little uh, wording that's going through it simply because, you know, it was a, a, uh, a stock image pretty much from uh, one of those places. It's in there. I can't really see. I think it's eye stock, you know. But I'm not going to sell this shirt. I'm just using it as an example. So I pretty much colored the the crossbone in. And I'm just trying to get all of this. So cause I'm about to weld all of that together. All of that white. Once I change it to blue. Now as you can see, let's get all of this. I'll select that gray. And I'll come over here and find all of the same color. Let's change that to yellow. So it changed all of that gray to yellow. But I want to weld that together. <coughs> now next what I want to do is select all of this black. We're going to change that black to that blue we're gonna weld that together. That way, I'm just—I just, just want to see it. You know, I just want to see it. As we, as you can see, there's other little colors in here that may can be black as well. But we'll work, we'll work on that later. What I want to do is I want to take this yellow, hold down Shift, select what was the black. I right click on it. And I combine all of that together. So pretty much got rid of that wording nice and quick. Okay, now that it's welded together, as you can see, all of the wording is gone. We have our full skull. 
you know we can clean up this little area right here just by double clicking on that and getting rid of all of those nodes and do the exact same thing double click on that blue and get rid of all of those nodes <coughs> And what I really would do is I'll just delete that now and use my smart fill tool and just fill it right back in and you know weld it back with the blue see there's a little piece of gray right there that I want to be black as well make sure I get all of that see those were little pieces I couldn't even see weld all of those together and then combine them with the black weld it <coughs> sorry for my coughing definitely sorry for my coughing today no it's not corona it's not corona but uh you know just got this tickle in my throat right now all right so i weld all of the the bone together. All the plate, all the places where I want this, uh, the bone, I grab it and just weld it together. So let's get all of the bone. Make sure we have all of it and weld it all together. Great, I'm liking that. Now, what I typically like to do when I'm uh, dealing with the skull is I like to actually go in there and weld all of the teeth together so i grab that one hold down shift and just select all of these teeth just to make sure that i group them together separate from the skull because sometimes i want the teeth to actually be a different color So I grab all the teeth and I weld them together. That way, they're together. Boom. Perfect. Now the rest of this should actually just be skull. So let's see here. Let's grab all of that white and change it. Boom. I guess this part right here should be black yep perfect so let's grab that grab that well all right click on this black hold down shift select this black and then select the rest of the skull and right click and combine it together now that it's combined together i just weld perfect now remember to control s save your work youtube skull head save that and we're pretty much almost done folks you know what i mean we can get a little fancy with it get a little fancy with it and add some stones that's the easy part if you ask me just click on that oh i didn't weld it all together all right so click on that and Find all of the same color, make sure I have it, and weld it together. Now what we're going to do is just pretty much add the stones in, in the skull head. Let's make it like, probably about, and we can actually make this huge. Give it almost wrap around the shirt effect. I like big designs. Alright, because the skull head is what's gonna be in the middle. The the crossbones will go around you. That so that's that'll be slick. And let's add place and fill. We're gonna do a hatch fill this time. So let me change my stones to this bright red. We click on the skull, which is the blue part. As you can see, we have just the skull. And we're going to do um, a hatch fill. Uh, 
when you're doing a hatch, the islands don't really matter. You know, you're just really worried about your contour spacing and if you want the stones to sort of overlap just a little bit of the vinyl. So let's do a hatch fill on that. See it places and adds the stones in there. Let's clear the paths. And then let's merge any overlapping stones. Boom. I guess that would be okay, you know. If you just wanted to, you know, say you made a, a rhinestone shirt, you know. Let's do a mock-up on that. Let's see what it looked like when we when we get to changing these colors. That's without fixing it, without touching any stones, without moving any stones, just let them lay where they are. Let's see what, what this mock-up looks like. I guess I could tap in to myself and see what's going on. I got to figure out how to do this a little more efficiently, folks. I'll figure it out here soon, though. I would love to do a lot more videos for y'all. Come on. Okay, so now I'm on YouTube. Let's just go to... Sign in for y'all. Yes, I would like to save the password in the cloud. Yes, I would. All right, so there we go. I mean, I think that's pretty slick right there, you know, if you wanted to. Yeah, I think that's pretty slick right there if you want it. Come on. Why is my computer moving so slow? Try to go live and do a video for y'all and, and it's just moving turtle slow. Turtle slow, turtle slow. Like this Corel Draw froze right now. Oh no, I was just doing that one silly. I don't know why Corel does this where it won't let me uh, zoom in and out. I found a little workaround though, which if I'm on another uh, document and I zoom in and out, then I can go back to this one and now I'm able to zoom for whatever reason it's quirky like that. Alright, so let's see here. See, now I won't zoom on either of them. That sucks. Especially when I'm trying to go live for y'all. Zoom back over here. 
Alright. So I just want to make this shirt a little bigger. Boom. Alright. I'm just switching back and forth simply because I'm having technical difficulties and I really just trying to end it on y'all. You know what I mean? But I don't know why why it does why it does this. Alright, there we go. Now all I want to do is really play around with the colors. So let's delete that so we get the stones. Let's select all of those red stones. Let's make those white. Let's make the cross bone white. And we're gonna keep the teeth that that oranges gold color. You know? I mean that's pretty slick right there, you know what I mean? You know, add some text to it. And just, you know, play around with it just a little bit. Now, actually, I wouldn't even do it over here. It actually goes over here. So, in your design, you'll add skull. Now, what I typically do when it comes to font picking is I, I don't know, you know, I go through until I find something that I like, you know. You know, if you want to get a little creative in, in your mental, you know, you can go back to... You can pretty much go back to your Google and trust me there's all type of fonts out there so let's just do a skull font well skull font and they got so many different skull fonts they got the Punisher font you know what I mean Hmm. You know, something slick like that, you know what I mean? All right, so. Skull font, what's this right here? Gold font by Concord Collections. What's this? Can, can we get a sample of this? So it's $9.95 for the skull font. Which that font is kind of slick, you know. I can definitely pay $9.95 get that font. But let's see here. Let's see here. We'll find a free one. We'll find a free skull font. That's going to be great to our liking. What's this? Uh, they got it right here. What's this? Is it two forty nine on this one? Well, it's still nine ninety five. Okay. Let's go back. Go back. Skull and void. Hmm. Like that one. That one ain't bad. Oh, see, that's an embroidery font. Right, let's just go to Skull Font Free. They're out there. What's this, Skull Pathway? Let's see what that is. Let's see what's up with that. Alright, let's see here. 
I guess we just or to download that. Let's see here. There it is. Click the download. Pop. Usually, you know, they take us to one of these little pages. 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds. So we're about to be redirected to another page. Let's continue. The skull font right there. Click the download. Let's download. Should pop up down here, y'all. Three seconds, two seconds. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't need all that on the screen. All right, so let's open up this font. I'm trying to go live and, you know. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so let's just install this font right here, like so. Alright, and it's called Skull Pathway. So what we'll do now is I'll go back to my Corel Draw. Find that font I just installed, which is called Skull Pathway. There it is. this one though whatever this is this handle all right let's try to find it right here let's get rid of this all together and do it like this Skull pathway. There it is. Now I don't really I don't really like that one now. Now that I done downloaded it and installed it, you know what I mean? That's not really You know, I think I like that that one that I had. What was it? Hamble? Turnpike. See I think I like Turnpike better. You know? Cause I can take this 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 turnpike right here, and I can actually put it right there. You know what I mean? And I can go up here to my effects and to my envelope tool. Which I have it right here behind already. And uh, let's see here. I want to just add. A curve to it. So let's do an add new on the envelope tool. Come back over here to my design. And I, I usually just play around with it a little bit. So I hit control. And lift it up. See what that does. It gives it that type of curve without the control just holding it you know it, it uh, shrinks up the bottom a little bit let's see what happens if I hold shift I think it comes in you know what I mean from the top and bottom what if I hold shift and control what does it do 
Oh, it comes in from the bottom and the sides. Top, bottom, and the sides. What happens if I hold Alt? Alt is kind of slick. Let's see here. Because Control gives it, it moves the top and the bottom. But Alt just moves the bottom. I like that. I like that. And let's see here. Let's actually see if I can move it in a little more. Just playing around with it. And let's move the top up. Let's hold control for the top. Nope. Let's hold uh, shift for the top. Oh, okay. See, I like that. Let's hold shift and move the bottom. Okay, shift and alt, what does that do? Hmm, I like it, but I, I still want it to curve around like that. So now I'm just playing around with it, y'all. You know, because I want to bring it in like that. You know what I mean? Nah, I don't like that at all. Let's just delete that all together. You know what I mean? And let's type in my, my skull again. No, we're not going to even type in skull. Let's go with something more. Let's go with some life or death shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. There we go. Sometimes it's all about the words. You you may choose as well, you know, that brings out the, your shirt. Well, let's go with death down here, you know what I mean? I like to size them up at the same time. And then just move them back. You know, definitely don't like that font, so let's change that font. Let's play around with it, see what we come up with. Definitely like that, that uh, the Turnpike font. Oh, that's kind of slick, but I don't like the F. Hmm. That's slick. The cursive with the life or death. So many fonts, y'all. I'll just go font, font hunting some days. We missed a few to say, God. I think I like the uh, the trans robotics. All right, let's just go with a thick, that thick uh, space adventure font. Like, you know what I mean? I like that. And let's actually go back to the stone wizard. Let's do an edit on the text space and space that out a little bit. Like so. Ha <laughs> ha. Life or death. And let's just put a little bitty or right here y'all like so life or death and we can even uh you know add just a little bit more and say choose one. We can even have that in the center, like so. Yeah, I, I put it in like that. Life or death, choose one. Like so. Now that being 12.9 inches, that will pretty much take up the entire uh, front of the shirt. 
Had to be an all over design. You know what I mean? Now you know I gotta add my stones. So let me uh let me weld that together. Alright, let me get a little a little better here and bring in my rulers. You know. Sometimes I just eyeball it, you know what I mean? Especially when I'm this far in to try to select everything and line it up. I still have trouble with that, so I just use my use my rulers and eyeball it, you know what I mean? Or another thing I do is I use my rulers and just make this this little square right here. And that way I can decide, you know, how much bigger I need to make my text to to match so that it's centered just like that. I know that they're the same size on both sides, you know what I'm saying? And then just delete them away. Life or death, choose one. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Alright, so next what I want to do is I want to take this and give this an outline because I'm going to basically place my stones in there. Alright, so let me actually move this down. No, I like it. It looks great like that. So we're going to weld all of this together. Welded together. You know it's welded together. You change the color and the color of all of it changes like so. Boom. So what I typically do is I go to my place and field tool, do one aisle into the outside with no stones, and I make it like 0.3 so that it's thick, so that you can see it. Let's hit Allen field. And you see how thick that is around that? Not bad. I like it. So next what you want you want to do is, I mean if you were just doing vinyl, you know, as you can see, that blue with that black outline is under the blue lettering. But if you were layering just vinyl, that would work perfect. But now we need a place for the rhinestones to sit. So we'll basically take the blue, click on the blue, hit shift, click on the black, and let's just trim through that black. So now we have that open area where the rhinestones will sit. All right, y'all following along so far? Following along so far? All right, so let's hit file, let's save this. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And what I typically do, I love hatch filling, y'all. It looks so neat and so clean. So let's just do another uh, contour spacing of 0 0.75 to the inside and add stones. And let's see, we're going to hatch fill that with this pink just to, so that we can see it. And hatch fill. Boom. Clear the pass on the selected stones. Merge any overlapping stones. Wow. And that's what we're left with. I mean, I think it did a damn good job if you ask me. You know what I mean? If I was in a rush, I probably... No, I wouldn't. I never do that, y'all. But if I was in a rush and I... <laughs> Wasn't paying any attention to this choose one down here. I would have sent that straight to my cutter. You know what I mean? Like, it's ready. Let's go. But no. You know, uh, you always want to do some touch-up work. You know what I mean? So let's touch it up real quick. Alright. Boom. And let's see if we can actually get a double stone in there. It looks like we will be actually boom grab those two boom slide that one over like boom now we'll do grab that one 
Hold down shift, grab that one and that one, do an equal spacing, and then add a stone. Perfect. Clear the pass by selecting this one right here. Computer won't move off slow, so, you know, we'll wait on it. There we go. Hold shift, select that, boom. Now what we want to do, we can actually get those stones closer together, but let's get a stone right there and one right there for now. Select all of those stones, make the spacing equal. Let's see if we can slide another stone in there. Not bad, not bad, because we're about to make that a little thicker. And I always want to when I move a stone, I like to do the spacing just a little bit again. So let's space out these stones right here now. Move that one over. And let's add some stones in here. Add one stone. Yes. Thicken it up a little bit. Give it some give it some girth. Do it again right here and add a stone. Now, sometimes when you get to adding stones, you know, they may overlap or whatever, but then you just visually fix it, you know, to the eye. Because once it's on the shirt, it's going to look spectacular. You know what I'm talking about? Go ahead and get this curve right here. Curve on down here. Boom. That's looking good to me. Get some stones in there like so now actually let's go ahead and get that one up there there we go move that one up there now it's okay if it's overlapping just a little bit because I'll teach y'all a little trick that I do I'll show y'all a little trick I do boom there we go. All right, I just fixed that S. Got some work to do. Got some work to do. It's okay, though. Sometimes that's what rhinestone is all about, to make it look perfect. I'm sure in uh, the rhinestone, I think they're up to version 5 of the wizard. I'm sure they have some tricks, you know, to speed up this process. But, hey, I haven't updated that far yet, y'all. I'll, I'm a just a regular hobbyist, you know, so I haven't got that far into the program yet. Now I can double it up, and I think I am want to double it up. So let's just move these up a bit. And pull it right on down, and then let's give these. Pull those down just a little bit. Like so. Get those in there. And I'll just delete one stone. And do my spacing. You know what I'm saying? And let all of those stones lay where, they're, where they will be. See? Like so. Grab these three. Move them up, then double them down here. Perfect. Choose one. Fix the end. See, and I just really like to go around the curvature with the stones. Oh, control. I want that exactly sideways with it. And you know, get down here. Boom. And now, just move that over. Slide one in. Boom. And, and do my spacing. See, when I do my spacing, it just sits it right where I need it to be. You know what I'm saying? Do a little clean up. 
I mean, I can leave that one right there, but let's do it like this and put it, wait a minute, right here. And then do the spacing. Then add a stone. Not bad, not bad. Put the spacing on this side. Add a stone, make sure this spacing is good between these stones right here. Perfect. Remember control S to save your work, save your work. And move right along, move right along. See, from a distance, it looked done, except for that E right there. And you know, we're going to cheat on that one. <laughs> nice and quick, nice and simple. Just grab all of those stones, bow like so, and delete those stones. <laughs> and you can easily grab all of these stones from this E, hold down control, and drag them right over. Get them in there where they need to be. Like so. You know, so all we really got to do is fix one of the O's. Let's do that since we have three of them. Let's just fix one of them real quick. Let's get rid of all of that. And get rid of all of that. And let's just fix this one. So what I typically like to do is... Just hand place the stones. That's perfect. We're going to grab this one and go this way with it. All the way around to there. Boom. And then we'll do it the other way. All the way around to the adjacent stone like so now they're all evenly spaced on the outside let's do it again go right up to that adjacent stone like so now actually on this one what I really want to do is let's add a stone or two in there Now that we added a stone or two, come back the other way. There we go. Wait a minute. There we go. Perfect. Grab all of those stones. Move it right over to that one. Zoom in, you know, to line it up nice and perfect. Perfect. And then let's grab this one and slide it over to this one as well. Oh, I almost got it on the first slide. Perfect. All right. Save our work. Control S. See, I love when I do the wording on the shirts because it makes it pop, makes it pop. Let me show y'all what I mean. Let's just delete this page. All right. And let's fix this C real quick. And, and it's, I like how that H had. Yeah. I like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. That H is kind of slick. So you know what I do is I just add a stone here, add a stone there, and just let the, the spacing do its job. You know what I'm saying? So let's grab the stones on the outside. 
We're not even going to worry about that stone right now. It's just going to get overlapped. We'll fix it in a minute. Perfect. Slide that stone over. Let the spacing do its job, y'all. Grab all of those stones in the inside. Equal spacing. Add a stone. That looks good to me. I can add one more. Bow. That looks good. Pull this one down just a hair. Alright. Boom. Nope, gotta fix the H. Gotta fix the H. Just so that it matches. And what I do is, I get rid of all of that. And drag them straight down using the control method. That way, I know that they're on point. Let's just get rid of all of that. And I'll drag this over like so. But then, I'll drag it up as well and click on it. Change the color just to make sure that it's on point and it's on point. Perfect. stones to that like so I keep hitting the uh, USB on my left side of my computer which pretty much houses all of my my drives and shit see all right boom there we go now, I, just, I guess I could have been real slick y'all and just did one side real quick and just grab all of them and moved them over like so. And I guess I could have did that. Which I just did. Alright, now what we want to do is let's see if these four will fit right in there. Like so. Perfect! There we go. Life or death, choose one. We can fix the top of this F up here. You know, give it a little girth. Just grab those stones right there. Slide them up, slide them in, like so. Aha. Uh -huh. Do the same with the E. You know, grab you know, that amount of stones. Slide them up, slide them in. Boom. I mean, you can even add a stone like that. Get some equal spacing going on. There we go. Guess we can do the same with the F. Just shift those stones down just a hair, y'all. With the I, we know we only need three of them. Or maybe four. There's four. And they'll sit right in there. Like so. Same with the bottom of the eye. Nope. Bottom of the eye is cool. We're going to leave it Leave it as is. Let's tuck this little piece. Nope. I like it. Everything is cool. Life or death. Choose one. So let's highlight the whole design. Go to mock-ups and let's do the shirt like so let it populate I like to brush in between I'm working on my waves so you know you gotta you gotta brush 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 brush
Brush, 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 brush. Let's see if I can get a little more light in here. We're back. We have our mock up. Life or death. Choose one. Slide it up. There we go. I like it. Now, personally, I think now that I'm looking at the design, I would have went with a skull without the crossbones. That way I could have made the skull bigger. But let's see here. Let's see what we got. Because now it's all about the colors. But most skull heads are on a black shirt. You know what I'm saying? When you start playing around with the colors, then you really start to see the design come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? Let's actually change that to a lighter. Oh, no. Change the shirt to lighter. Yeah, just a little lighter. And then, there we go. So the skull can stick out with all its blackness. Like so. Aha. Let's change that to white for the bones. Then let's actually change this. Let's change all of those stones to white as well. Play around with it. Add the outline. Make that red. Aha. See? Now, I guess I could have really went in there and cleaned all of this up, you know, so I could have laid down more stones. But now that I'm looking at it and I've actually done the, the stones for the wording, it would be slick if I just did, took the stones out of the skull all together. Right. Took the took the took it out the stones all took the stones out the skull all together, and then make this design. bigger and actually let's turn it come on see I'm back to trying to create my work around again all right let's there we go. Now I can zoom in and out again. And now let's turn it. I like it. That's crazy. I gotta go over here and make another shape in order to zoom in and come back to this one in order to zoom out. That's crazy. Boom. 
file save that wrap all of those stones added to the front Like so, like so. All right, all right. And now that start, starter starting to actually look like a uh, Philip Pline shirt. You tell me. And we can actually leave the stone, leave that bone white and press the stones right over that, just that little bit of vinyl right there and trust and believe the stones will be on there they won't come off even after a wash in just that little area i like it please leave a uh comment down below you know if you definitely enjoyed this video and would like to see more of just more of me designing and more of me showing y'all how to make these these one of a kind tees that you can actually make for yourself, you know, once you have a, a vinyl cutter and a heat press. Pretty, pretty simple to make, I swear, I promise. Well, once you actually, you know, truly, truly get into the, the designer aspect of it all, it is, it's a fun, real, real fun time, trust me. Let's take the white out all together. You know, we can even just do make them red. You know, so all right, real quick, let me show y'all how we do this. All right, let me change these back. Well, I don't need to change them there. All right. So let's say I'm taking the, the stones out the skull all together. Right? Like, voila. Oh, wait a minute. I took the teeth out on accident. There we go. And remember this is supposed to be slanted. So let's grab the teeth, the skull, and the bone. And let's turn it like so. Forgot to grab it. Oh, uh, we said we weren't going. But we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. That's all right. All right, like so. Let me turn it just a little more. All right. And to put this together, y'all, watch how easy this is. You just grab it off. I like to put it down in the corner right here. And I go to my templates and let's just do a vinyl double cut and the stone two plus cut. But what we'll do is we'll right click on that. When we right click on that, it lays it out flawlessly. When I say flawlessly, you'll see. You'll see. Watch this. Watch this. It breaks it up and shows you. Here we have our stones. 
You'll grab all of that, send it to your cutter. Here we have our crossbones and it's already mirrored. Here we have our teeth, they're already mirrored. If I wanted the inside of my skull to be white, there's the, the part for the inside of my skull. Here's my outline design. And there's my inside just in case I didn't want to do stones. So let me show y'all back here on the mock-up. I'll have to do another mock-up real quick. Put everything in there so y'all can see. All right, let's just do a new mock-up real quick. Go to mock-ups and let it mock that up real quick. Oh, back to the brushing session. Tell you about my birthday. I want to have a whole head full of waves. I want to be spinning, spinning. You, you feel me? So I got to work on this side right here. Got to work on both my sides, actually, but this side right here. Just waiting for the program to mock it up real quick. So I get some, get some brush strokes in. Alright, my cup is done. Here we have it over here. Doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, when you start to play around with the colors, then this shirt truly comes to life. Watch this. So if you're watching right now, please go ahead and hit that like button. I mean, help me out. Tell me what color the shirt should be. Tell me what color the words should be, what color the stones should be. You know, let's... Let's, let's do this shirt together. Let's do this shirt together. I only got one viewer on here. All right, no comments, no comments. All right, so let's see here. Let's... Make the skull white, of course, like so. Let's make the crossbones white. We can even go with white teeth. All right, so that that whole skull is white. And let's change the inside of this to that silver, I mean to that gold, you know, and leave it like that, like so. Easy peasy. That's if you were just using glitter, you know, and you didn't want the stones in there, you just wanted the glitter in there, you know what I mean? Change the outline, change that to red glitter. Now the whole skull, everything. Well, okay, I forgot I separated it. So I like to keep everything separate because that way you can change what you want, you know? Once you have the design done, you can 
I mean, the possibilities truly become endless. You know, if you wanted to be fancy and just do a red glitter skull, like so, you know what I mean? And he got gold teeth, you know? And the crossbones are black. You just do them black, too. Black crossbones behind them, you know what I'm saying? And then it's a really pop if you put it on a black tee. You go ahead, make the make the the crossbone actually glitter as well. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. And get to just playing around with it. You know what I'm saying? And decide for yourself. What color shirt I want? What what do I actually want? You know what I'm saying? The possibilities are truly endless. Once you decide your design and how you want it, now all you got to do is go out there and get the black shirt. Order the, the black vinyl. Order the red vinyl. Order the white vinyl, you know what I mean? Order the stones. Let's change the shirt. Let's make the shirt a gray shirt. Let's make the words, you know, gray as well. So that it's just a, a highlight, you know? Make that, the outline of it white. You know, or like I say, chop that through all of that. And there we go. There go the stones. There's the rhinestones. Let's grab all of those, make those white. Let's make the outline a solid black. Let's make that back white. With the gold teeth. That's dope. That's dope, y'all. Imagine how that'll look on the on the on the teeth with the with the rhinestones just popping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's so great about the design is when you're brushing the stones in. I mean, you don't have to brush because you can just brush in these red stones and have those stones right there red. You know, or you can just brush in these stones right here and have those yellow if you want. Possibilities are endless, folks. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more and more videos like this where, I mean, I do this every day. So I might as well share it with the world, you know, on how I make my custom rhinestone tees. Uh, don't forget to like, comment down below if you if you truly enjoyed this video and want to see more. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'm out. Oh, I'm still alive.
Did he record that whole thing, Cairo? Ooh. Ooh. He did record it. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I didn't record it. Oh, Cairo. It didn't record it, man. <laughs> I didn't hold it. I didn't hold it. I didn't record it.
Hold on, I'm still live. Hold on. Oh, stop streaming. 